Well, India is euphoric at its successful lunar landing. So what happens next? The Pragyan rover has been deployed on the lunar surface after it rolled out of the Vikram lander. ISRO has confirmed that the moon rover ramped down from the lander and took a walk on the moon. Revisiting the picture-perfect landing, ISRO chief S. Somanath says it is difficult to describe what went through his mind. Karnataka Chief Minister Sidramaya also reached ISRO headquarters in Bengaluru to meet our ISRO scientists and congratulate them on the successful landing. He also felicitated the ISRO chairman. The Karnataka government will also honour the ISRO scientists by organising a special programme at the banquet hall of Vidana Sauda. 500 scientists from Karnataka, including ISRO chairman Somanath, will be honoured. Now, India has become the first country in the world to land at the crucial south pole of the moon. It has also entered an elite space club after US, China and Russia. India is the fourth country to reach the moon. Yeah. What do you have to say, sir? The mission is successful. So, yeah, we are very happy about this mission. It has been such a great uh, mission. It achieved the touchdown very, very safely. Uh, beyond our expectations, uh, I must say, but we were expecting this to happen today. How, you must be very tense, especially at the, at the last... Uh, we yeah. were not tense at all because we have done the work yeah. and uh, because work is done very well, there will not be any possibility of any more failures or issues yeah. that we were very confident about. Yeah. So how was uh, did the Prime Minister when I address after the successful uh, launch of the mission, sir? He congratulated each, all of the ISRO family members and he wanted to come and personally greet each one of us and he also said that we are doing one, making India very, very proud. Yeah. Sir, uh, this is one of the important missions that the entire world was looking at it. What do you like? And entire billions of Indians were with braided breath. Well, looking. what do you have to say to Indians, sir? To, to the common Indians See, who were... Yeah. Now, India, now you have a piece of moon with you. It, you. it belongs to you as well. It is like very other powerful nations that uh, put their foot on the moon. Now, yeah. you can be proudly claim an Indian material is softly on the moon. You yeah. can have the rightful claim on it. Yeah. Future generations can claim it. I became very happy because our country has achieved this. It's an historical achievement. Sir, you met the landing on the moon is yes, not sir. a small thing. Yes, sir. It's a big achievement. Yes, sir. It's a very big it? achievement. You met the staff and the chairman. What no, no. Was the they, Papa, they, so our elder Kuda, English, English. Bala, Bala was Tinda. Since many years they worked. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. They were at it. Yes, sir. Right. Around the clock. Around the clock they have worked. Many, many scientists exactly. they have worked. They are involved in that. When I say unbelievable, I mean that with the kind of budget what we have, with the kind of other commitments what we have, and, uh, and that too after a failure, and that failure has put us into great difficulty, and then we are achieving this. So, this is, in that sense, it is unbelievable. But it is believable because everyone in ISRO knows that it is achievable and they have achieved it. And how they achieved it is a simple matter that every failure of Chandrayaan 2 was addressed to. Then they take that and use almost full energy of the rocket to go ahead. So that calls for a heavy launch vehicle. So that heavy launch vehicle we are cutting down, the cost coming down there. Second thing is uh, when we make the, the satellite configuration as simple as possible. So that is calls for a lot of thinking to make it simple. For example, landing yesterday was looking like simple. To make that simple, a lot of effort has gone. Okay, now, now you look at that. So similarly, the, the configuration to arrive at, uh, today's technology allows us to, in a software form, to configure, test, uh, redo, retune, many things. And uh, such uh, enables us to make a simple model, single model, not only really simple, it's single. I think the success of Chandrayaan-3, it raises everybody's confidence right around the world. But imagine the Indian astronauts themselves that have already been selected and have been training. Imagine how they were looking at this mission. To be able to see India successfully land on the moon, which is one of the most complicated things that we ever try and do in space exploration. The, uh, the Indians that are training to fly in space, they're gonna look at this as a really significant step in increased proven capability of just what ISRO and, uh, and the Indian nation can do. 
We had uh, one of the most memorable day uh, in the history of Indian space exploration yesterday when Vikram lander landed on the moon as per the plan at 6.04 p.m. Uh, this was a 40-day uh, mission that started on 14th of July uh, with a launch from uh, Sri Harikota, uh, ending with the surface of the moon uh, yesterday at 6.04 p.m. Uh, I would say that uh, there was a lot of apprehension uh, that was there before the event. Anxiety was there, though there was confidence, but there was anxiety and apprehension because we had Chandrayaan-2, which fell just short of landing on the moon just last few minutes, uh, and everyone was uh, sort of holding their breath, uh, uh, and, and heartbeat was stopping almost uh, in, the, in the control room uh, in the last 10 meters of descent. But it was picture-perfect uh, landing that happened. My colleague Shweta spoke to astronomy expert Chatin Rathod, who will uh, walk us through the next major steps the Chandrayaan will be taking on the moon. Please help us understand, firstly, uh, for the sake of our audience, why there was selection of South Pole and why it is important of soft landing, firstly. Soft landing is important because it is... Uh, one of the major things for technological challenge where we can make upright landing and South Pole simply because there is a lot of water that terrain is untouched by many I mean most of the countries because it is not so easy to go so that was the main thing but there is a lot of water there it's a sort of a permafrost region where you the crater walls do not allow sunlight to go inside so that region is completely untouched by the sunlight. So it is a very good deposit of water right. in the form of ice. Help us understand also what are the next procedures? What will be the work of uh, rover Pragyan? As we have seen that lander Vikram has successfully done its work. And you can here see on this map very clearly, this is Mare Tranquility. That's where the first man landed, Neil Armstrong and his team, right? And it is very plain. It seems really plain. So really yes, plain. Yes. But if you now go to, this is the North Pole and this is the South Pole, Chandrayaan, I'm sorry, Chandrayaan 3 is landed here. Benzinus crater, right? You can see here, this is the site where Chandrayaan 3 has landed. And it's highly cratered region. There are also many boulders and small craters around so it was a technological challenge for us to carry out that mission but it is still facing the earth yes. so the lander is going to communicate directly to the ground station and lander has two experiments first is plasma experiment it will try to find out ions and electron in the soil and also how they behave as time proceeds under the influence of the sunlight and other things